Hello, summary of the Daf Tzadik Vav of Torah Or. We learned in this Daf both Maimarim of Ubavaya Lifnea Melach and the Maimar of Akibel Ayehudim Eisa Sherechil Vasois. The first Maimar talks about how the first 6,000 years of the history of the world is a time of concealment. And the last thousand years is a time of destruction of that concealment. And in the first 6,000 years, we have uh, different times where we ascend, descend and ascend as a people. Uh, we have our highs and our lows and all of the, we, but at the end of the day, we keep ascending in the long run. And there's so many different levels we ascend spiritually and physically. Um, however, in the seventh millennium, in the, the last 7,000 years, uh, we have a certain, I guess, a destruction of that, um, of that concept of constantly elevating from level to level, but it's more of idea of a plateau where we finally reached our destination and we can kind of take a step back. Similar to the idea of Shemitah. We have seven years where we work the field and then the last year we um, are able to step back and um, kind of as a plateau and appreciate the growth of the previous seven years. Um, so during the first 6,000 years of history, the main focus is on Torah and Maisim Toivim. Uh, because in Torah and Maisim Toivim, we have um, the concept of the Hashem's Ratzain. We're able to fulfill Hashem's will. And this will is is the, I guess, the external expression of God's inner pleasure. And at the end of the day, within God's will and pleasure and will and pleasure in general, there's infinite, infinite levels. And the internal will and pleasure is that one does not want anything other than cleaving to Hashem. Um, and this is the whole idea that one moment of tshuva and good deeds in this world is greater than all the world to come because the pleasure in Gan Eden uh, really is just commensurate to our comprehension. But tshuva maisim that's the actual misses that we do down here, is able to, I guess, elevate ourselves to Hashem's essence, which is an ex, which is the an analog for the in the Purim story when Esther comes to the king. Uh, she it's an analogy for the idea that the Jewish people are ascending to Hashem's essence and therefore able to revert any negative de decrees um, and change the course of history. And to explain this concept that all of man's avoida in this world is in order to refine the world through our wisdom and specifically through our thoughts. That through, I guess, thinking about something, you take the good um, and you remove the bad. And so that's the whole idea of thoughts is you're combining different letters which is the idea when the king Achashverosh wrote the decree in his book, it's, I guess, the connected to the idea of thought, which is through refining the world, um, we're able to have this arousal from below and that elicits an arousal from above um, that causes uh, Hashem to shower down his blessings. And we're able to push away any negativity of the sitra achra. And it just descends and descends to an extent that we're not even, it's not even relevant at all. It's just in the waste, in, in, the, in the garbage bin, in, you know, 
um, and it doesn't have to affect us at all. So the second mimer talks about the receiving of the Torah. That really by the Purim story, we received the Torah, um, the final reception of the Torah happened by Purim and it started by Mount Sinai. And it, the discourse talks about Abraham Avinu, how what made his service, divine service unique um, in the sense that he was before the Torah was given. So in one sense, he was able to uh, do Hashem's will, but to a certain extent, since uh, they didn't, he didn't have mitzvahs to the same level as after Rahim Torah, he wasn't able to cause the infinite light to uh, have the full vessel to receive that infinite light of Hashem, which made it, um, which, limited his ability to draw down God's Ein Sof, the infinite or Ein Sof, into the world. And that's connected to the Purim story, the, the Yavu Levush Malchus, that the, the garbs, the, the garments of royal garments, which that is the garments of Tar Mitzvahs and the Sus and the horse, that he wrote on, and those are all the vessels that makes it possible for the light to be expressed because we know that, that a light cannot express itself without a vessel. But when we do have the proper vessel of Torah mitzvahs, then we are able to not only just express a light commensurate to the vessel, but even an infinite light, which is totally beyond, beyond. And that's why the Jewish people were able to receive the Torah in the fullest sense after, uh, by the Purim story because they had that mysterious nefesh that they did not convert and they were willing to fight till the end to make sure that they were going to keep Torah mitzvahs and draw down God's infinite light down here. Have a wonderful day.